So, what determines the level of awakeness people find themselves? There's so many interesting different factors I've seen through this awakening process. And some make sense, some don't. But it's definitely an interesting thing to learn. You know, there's a lot of people out there, you know, when Bill makes a comment or something, bitches about his writing. You know what? Yeah, Bill doesn't have the best education. But that's what I find great about him. That's what I find is one of his best assets is the fact that he hasn't been programmed into the system. Especially when I went through what I went through in waking up, I found so many people I came across and they came at me, well-educated people, to just to find out that they're bullshit. You know, they pretended to be awake. They were fake awake. And that's a term I like to use, the fake awake. And they weren't really awake. But Bill. Bill was awake. And I knew. I knew. The way he wrote to me. The way he spoke to me. That he hasn't been programmed by the system. And people need to understand this. That I've come across many different people. And many people say they're awake. Many people seem to be awake. But it's the people that seem to not have gone along with the system the most are the ones that are truly awake. People like Bill. Truly awake. Honest, good person. Not the best education. Either have I. You know? I'm lucky that, uh, you know, the computer that I use or the you know the tablet I use spell corrects me all the time um, Bill doesn't seem to use spell correct but <laughs> but that's his own personal thing but my spelling my grammar is you know very subpar when it comes to many others that have had better educations and it's not that I didn't have, I wasn't in the right education systems. I went to decent schools. I went to college. But I was that kid that never did the homework. I was that kid that never studied for a test. I was that kid in college that never bought a book. You know, Matter of fact, I remember uh, seeing my sister, because we both went to the same, same college, same university, and she drove me into the bookstore because she was wondering why I didn't have any books. I said, I didn't have no money, I didn't have any books. I just, you know, was given an excuse so I didn't, you know, for not having a book. She drug me in there and bought me a book from the course that I was taking uh, right after I had seen her. I think it was a sociology book. The, the ironic thing is that was, I think, the only course I got like a A in, oh, besides theater, <laughs> which anybody can get an A and you kind of just got to show up um, in college. So, education, I see as one of the things that the truly awakened lack. And I think people should look out for things like this. This is why we got to learn this process. Because we got to find out who is who, you know, because we have to start grouping some of these people with higher educations into the category of more suspect because of the fact that they have allowed themselves to be programmed more than others. You know what I mean? This too. Which is a very interesting and, and, and kind of bizarre thing, but... You know, we were having a chat, a private chat with quite a few people, and everyone smoked. And that was another interesting factor. All right, so this group of very awake people, they smoke. Hmm. 
Uh, is there something to it? I don't know yet. I don't, I don't know if we have enough evidence, but I thought that was very unique. Unique factor that we're, 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 or conclusion that we're starting to come to are when you have to take in Sorry these different Sorry about that. Somebody interrupted my, uh, my uh, video there. But anyways, taking in all these factors, you know, the lack of education or not going along with the program while you were in their system, this uh, brainwashing system they call the education system, um, smoking, okay, is it a possibility there's something to do there with why people are, some people are really awake? I think there's a definite possibility there's something to do with it because too often times when I come across very awake people, they happen to be smokers. So, you know, you can bitch all you want, and yes, it is horrible for your health, and I don't encourage it whatsoever, but is there something going along with the fact of the tobacco blocking something that is seeping into our lungs? So is our clogged lungs preventing something that is, you know, blocking people from becoming way over awake? I don't know, you know? But we have to take in those factors. So, you know, there is definitely something to um, the spiritual side. I just would like to explain it more that it's a universal decision. You know, the Jewish people like to call themselves the chosen ones. I sometimes like to say that the truly awakened people are the chosen ones because I think there is a spiritual factor in people awakening more than others. And I even believe that there are some people out there that are meant to un unveil the uh, spiritual side and call it out for it being bullshit and those people are some people are very truly awakened too because I think part of this is I think people need to understand we need to destroy the new age movement because the new age movement is something that is hindering the truth movement immensely okay and it needs to be stopped how I don't know but we need to do things to figure out how to stop the new age movement and it's not like other ideas are horrible okay eating right you know um, you know some meditation you know just not going to where they tell you to go you know not not going down the path of where they go to I think it's more important to find your inner self and spiritual self in a private way, privately with a relationship to a private God that nobody else has anything to do with. Okay? And, you know, the yoga and all that stuff, if you want to invent your own yoga techniques, do that, but don't go along with yoga techniques that somebody else is teaching because we always find that these yoga institutes and these yoga teachings somehow connect to the New Age movement and are nothing but trouble. So... If you're going to go along the lines of the New Age stuff, you have to separate yourself from the group New Age stuff or the teachings and invent that within yourself. Okay? The group shit and everything else that they're pushing out there actually needs to be destroyed. You know, that love and light bullshit needs to be destroyed because it's what's hindering the truth movement from ever doing anything eventful enough to cause change in a good way, in a positive light, if you want to call that whatever it is, whatever you want to use the word for it. But um, I just found that unique. So I think you should pay attention to things like that out there. When you see people that are overeducated, they need to be questioned even more when they are getting involved into the truth movement because of the fact that they've had more programming than others, you know? I'd love to say that, yeah, it's a bloodline thing that why people are awakening this and that, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not totally seeing it and there's not enough evidence for that to be true. 
when it comes to people that are really awake. You know? Because the names, when I come across certain people that are really awake, aren't jiving with a bloodline thing. So, is there something more to the universal aspect? I think there is. And I think we scare the shit out of them when we start to really understand what has woken us up, why we are awake, and what is meant for us to do. And those are things that we need to concentrate on versus getting into the group thing again, get all caught up in these Trump this, Obama that, the blah, 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 the this, the that, the memo, the Q, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't get caught into that trap. You know, this is more stuff that you need to seek inside of you, your inner self, and finding out what is your true purpose versus getting caught up in other people's purposes. Because when it comes down to it, in your life, every, other people's purposes are bullshit. It's your life. Your purpose is important. You're special. You're important. These other people are not important, especially people online. They are so not important. They're the least important people in your entire life are the, are the people that are online. What they say is the least amount of importance, okay? Because it's a group think thing. And you have to be an individual. 